What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie and today I wanted to do a quick video showing you guys how to set up your own cloud server in Linux. So as I stated, I want to go down and show you guys how to set up a cloud in Linux. I'm going to do it on Ubuntu 18.4, but the actual application I want to show you guys is Nextcloud. And Nextcloud is an application that was basically created to replace Google Drive, you know, all the Google services, uh, the Google Calendar, uh, as well as, you know, all the other ones like Dropbox. But the difference is you control the data is putting the data back into the hands of the actual user. So this is a server that you control and a server that uh, you can you know, shut down at any time. You don't have to worry about a proprietary company uh, reading any of your information that's stored in the cloud. Uh, the only thing is, is, you know, stored wherever you uh, create the server at. So if you have a server at the house, uh, you obviously want to have a backup somewhere, you know, stored in a different location of all your data. Uh, because if your house catch a fire, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you lose all that, but you get back up things from your computer. Uh, you could back up things from your, uh, phone, like your contacts, calendar, all that good information, uh, can be stored in your own cloud on your own server. And as I stated, you know what I'm saying? This is a way to prevent people from actually accessing your information or whatever you store in a cloud location and you can access that data anywhere. So that's the one good thing about it. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to worry about big brother, so to speak, uh, reading whatever you have stored on your cloud. And what made me do this video? Uh, I did a, I recently did a video on Thunderbird and I was talking about privacy. And this is one of the tools that you can use for, you know, helping secure your privacy. So uh, first thing, let me go down and show you guys the website. And it's, it's nextcloud.com. And this is the one I recommend. Uh, there is another one. It's called OwnCloud. Uh, and this is a fork of OwnCloud. If you know anything about programming and GitHub and all that stuff, this is a fork. So it's a totally different, you know, it has different developers on it. Um, and they have a lot more backing in this one as far as development goes uh, because of the different, you know, add-ons you can add to it. It's all open source. So anybody can contribute to it. And that's one good thing I like about it. So, okay. So let me read a little bit on the site is basically uh, what it says is regain control. The self-hosted productivity platform that keeps you in control. Uh, and that's one of the things they they kind of push, you know what I'm saying? You own or you have ownership of all your files. You don't have to uh, worry about any other company. Uh, so share and collaborate on documents. So that's one cool thing about it. You know what I'm saying? You can just like on Google Drive, you can like share documents. You can do the exact same thing on Nextcloud. Send and receive email. You can manage your, your calendars and have video chat without data leaks. Uh, and that's one cool thing about it. You can actually set up video chats, uh, just like Hangouts. Um, I haven't used Nextcloud that much, but from what I've heard, um, the video chat um, add-on is pretty good. You know what I'm saying? It's comparable to Google Hangouts. You can have Hangouts with different people. You know what I'm saying? And let's read a little more as fully on-premise solution. Uh, Nextcloud Hub provides the benefits of online collaboration without the compliance and security risks. Uh, so here we go. Next, Nextcloud Hub. Nextcloud Hub is first completely integrated on the premises content collaboration platform on the market. Uh, ready for a new generation of users who expect seamless online collaboration capabilities out of the box. Uh, and as you can see right here, uh, Enterprise file, file share, sync and share. So Nextcloud files, that's what that provides. Uh, Nextcloud talk, this is what I was saying, is kind of comparable to uh, Hangouts. Uh, and Nextcloud uh, group where, you, you know, you can share calendars, you know, and all that stuff. You just have to have a, a Next 
cloud account created on the server. And as you can see, it's kind of like a very sleek application. Just looking at the at the pictures, it says a very sleek application for an open source, you know, program. So let's get started. I'm going to go down and show you guys how to install it, configure it and get it set up. Okay, so I'm SSH into my Ubuntu 18.4 server, and I just wanted to show you the welcome page uh, so you guys can see that I am installing on 18.04.4 LTS. Okay, so let me clear this out right fast and just go down and show you guys how to actually install Nextcloud. And it's very simple. I'm going to use the snap package. Uh, it's very simple. It's uh, sudo uh, snap install uh, nextcloud and it has a like i said it has a snap package i haven't installed it yet so i don't know how long this is going to take uh it shouldn't take too long and it will download and install the the most stable version of nextcloud so let's just get that a few minutes i might speed this up Okay, so the installation didn't take too long. I want to go down and uh, just ver or confirm that the installation happened. So like, you could type in snap uh, changes in Nextcloud. And press enter and that'll let you know that it installed successfully. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you guys is actually configuring the server. And the first thing you want to do is configure the administrator account. Uh, you you want to do that before you actually expose it to the web because uh, right now the ports are closed for on this server. So you want to go in on and set up those accounts, uh, the administrator account, uh, while it's not exposed to the web. So the, the command you do to do that is sudo nextcloud. And sorry about that. Nextcloud.manual uh, install. And then let's set up our first account. I'm gonna just do Josh and then I'm gonna just put a password on it. So, um, and I don't care if you guys see this, I'm delete this server afterwards. Um, but I'm gonna just use that password for right now. Password one, two, three, and press enter. And that will go it on and create that administrative account uh, that you need in, in order to access the server. Okay, once I ran that command, you know, that went on and created the administrator account. So we should be good to go. The next thing you want to do is adjust the trusted domain. Uh, and this is a configuration that you want to do in order to have access to your server from outside your network. Uh, and as I stated, I'm using the example as a server set up on my home, own home network. Uh, and I want to have access to it from the outside. So one thing you want to do is have a domain that you want to set aside for this actual instance. It could be any domain. You can purchase a domain that you, you know, that you want. Uh, you can also create a subdomain, you know, under a domain that you have to use for this next cloud instance. Uh, I'm not going to actually assign a domain to it. I'm going to just access it from my IP address, but I just wanted to show you how to actually do that. And the way we can go down and query the, the trusted domain uh, variables that are set. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. And the way you do that is sudo uh, nextcloud.occ. And sorry about that. OCC. And then config colon system colon get trusted underscore domains 
and press enter. And this will pull what what is that variable that's set for the trusted domain. And as you can see, it's only local host, uh, which won't allow you to actually access it from outside. You will have to modify that in order and add your URL to the list. And we can easily add to that uh, variable by typing in that same command, but by changing where it says git, change that to set, and then go to the end of it. And what you wanna do is add that domain to it. So, uh, and you type one, and then dash dash value and equals uh, whatever you want to name it. So I'm going to just say example, example.com, which is fine. I mean, I'm just doing this. I'm going to remove it in a, in a couple seconds, but I just wanted to show you guys how to actually do it. And as you can see, that, that gives you a confirmation that it was done. And if we run that query again on get the trusted domains, you'll see that example.com is there. And so that's what you would have to do in order to add your domain to Nextcloud, uh, to your Nextcloud instance. So you got access, access it from the outside. Now, once you do that, the next thing you kind of want to do, I just want to, you know, walk through all the steps that you would normally do uh when setting up a next cloud instance even though uh i'm not going to do it for this demonstration but you want to set up uh a ssl's encryption key uh for your uh server so that all your connections to the server are encrypted and there is a free service out there it's called let's encrypt i actually need to do a video on it i've seen plenty of videos on it but just look it up. It's called Let's Encrypt. This is where you can get an SSL certificate for your site. Um, and this is one good thing, you know. Uh, so as you're sending data back and forth to your next cloud instance, it is all encrypted. Like all the communications is encrypted via that certificate. So this is one thing you want to do. But beside that, uh, I want to go down and show you guys. I think I've done this before, but if you have an Apache, most likely you have Apache installed. So, and you want to open up these ports on the server so you can be able to access the, the site. And the way you do that is by using UFW. I've done a video on uncomplicated, uncomplicated firewall. You can check that video out as well. Uh, but you can simply open up the ports for it. Uh, and as you sudo UFW, uh allow and then what you want to do is open two ports especially if you have a ssl cert you want to open up port 80 and you want to open up port 443 uh and 443 is the standard port for encrypted uh connections or encrypted uh server uh connections so that's the command you will run you basically run that and that'll open up those ports on using ufw that'll open up the ports on the server for you and as i stated i'll do a, a video later on on actually showing you guys how to set up a, a certificate uh for your server i just wanted to go on this video i want to focus on nextcloud specifically but now that we have that port open we can actually access the server so let me switch back to my other screen right now and then we can go down and open up our next cloud instance uh, and like I said, I'll just be using our IP address. So just give me one second. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the next cloud instance. And the way you do that is 192. You just type in the IP address 192.168.10.109. So it is whatever the, the IP address is of the server. Uh, you just type that in and that should bring you up to the next cloud uh, instance. And now this is just a simple by logging into the uh, admin account that we created. Um, so just type in the username and password. And and there we go. Once you once you um you know have it set up, you can go it on and uh, go through the little tutorial to bring up a little. Not a tutorial, but, you know, just some information about setting it up. They have 
uh, the applications you can install for both uh, Android and Apple. They're in the Apple Store and the Google Play Store, so you can download that. Um, and just some more information about using it, you know what I'm saying? And so we can close that. But this is the actual admin account that I'm logged into now. And then you can start adding uh, more people to the site if you need to. Or adding more users to your actual Nextcloud instance. And it's a very simple process, like I was saying. So that's all I wanted to do was show you guys how to actually set it up. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. This was a very simple tutorial. Uh, I hope to see you guys set up your own next cloud server so you can share documents with uh, your family, you know, without having to go through one of these big companies that uh, controls your data or sees your data. You know what I'm saying? You, you can have it for yourself, you know what I'm saying? And on your own network and on your own servers. So uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment down in the comment box below. And of course, keep it techie.